Oh, really? Whoa, La Bamba, I don't know. <laughs> Would it be, um, ooh, that no bus service? Metro Vancouver's bus system could completely shut down. Suck a poopy. Well, I, I'm not too pumped up about that, I'll say that much. And that includes the C bus. Solidarity! So, so, so! Solidarity! That pledge has now been made by transit workers. We will engage in a complete system shutdown on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of next week. No members of Unifor Local 111 and 2200 will report for work on those days. Potentially crippling lower mainland transit. I probably would not end up going to school or not end up going to work because I can't. I have no other transportation to get there. It's just more difficult to get anywhere. I need to drive more and I have to you know, think about it more. It's just all around not good. Coast Mountain Bus Company and parent company TransLink are angry. We are incredibly disappointed by the announced escalation of job action by the union today. This will have a devastating impact on this region, in particular the 350,000 people who rely on the bus system every single weekday. Both sides pointing at each other. Ultimately, this is on the union. The blame lies squarely and fully with TransLink. At this point, the strike will only last for three days. The union says bus drivers will return to work the following Saturday. The job escalations follow months of negotiations and breakdowns. While both sides have made compromises, they're locked in a stare down over wages. But the province isn't planning on stepping in for now. I'm encouraging both sides to get back to the bargaining table because that's where the deal will be made. Which means the union and the employer have six days to work out a new deal. If not, commuters can bank on transit chaos next Wednesday. All it does is confuse and make it hard on the person who has to take the bus. Dan, it should be noted that SkyTrain staff are represented by a completely different union, and they're in the midst of their own contract negotiations. Now, that union hasn't announced any plans for its own strike, but it's unclear whether SkyTrain staff would cross a picket line set up by transit workers next Wednesday. Back to you. Thank you very much. Joe Ballard reporting live for us tonight.